Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon, and this is some news about Square Enix. Apparently, at the very beginning of 2024, the president of Square is coming right out and saying they're going to aggressively apply AI. And not just in text, but like all over the place, guys. Do you think that companies like Disney are going to stay away from AI just because some people on social media don't like it? I think it's here to stay. I think it's absolutely going to replace jobs. Um, I think it's going to replace redundant jobs. I think it's going to be used to get rid of people that maybe don't have the talent to be there anyway and to make things easier for the people who do. That's my personal opinion. I don't think that they're going to be able to use it to replicate everything. But I mean, video game companies are going to adopt it sooner because you know it is new tech but also you know think about rpgs you know if you've got ai and ai generated voices and ai generated uh, npcs or whatever that you can interact with it's gonna make the game a whole lot more interesting whether or not square will use it to do that i don't know actually square use it to come up with the next storyline for the next final fantasy game you know that maybe that'll help a little bit but let's uh let's talk about this because some people on social media they're not liking it and i don't know what to tell you i really don't know what to tell you i'm not being facetious i'm not being a jerk about it i'm saying ai is here it is going to uh you know put some people out of work it's going to put some journalists out of work it's going to put some content creators out of work or rather you know look at what's going on with localizers now western localizers very upset that Japan is using AI to effectively replace them because, you know, a lot of them taking liberties with these uh, translations. So let's, let's talk about it. That might be what's going on here, too. They might be using it to localize the games. So before we get into it any further, guys, uh, please subscribe for more gaming news, gameplay videos, and more gaming content on Clownfish Gaming. Check this out. This is coming from uh, IGN. Square Enix president states the company will be aggressive in applying AI uh, they want greater collaboration between the development and publishing teams. So he put this letter out from Square Enix. And uh, we'll talk about this because, yeah, he's basically like artificial intelligence and its potential implications had for some time largely been subjects of academic debate. However, the introduction of chat GPT, which allows anyone to easily produce writing or translations. Uh oh. Or to engage in text-based dialogue sparked the rapid spread of generative AI. Its release made it apparent that the applicability of generative AI is by no means limited to text and subsequent months saw a quick succession of launches and new services and content that expanded it into a variety of domains with close ties to digital entertainment, including images, video, and music. I believe that generative AI has the potential to not only reshape what we create, but also to fundamentally change the processes by which we create, including programming. Yeah, programmers are using AI to uh, you know, handle a lot of the redundancies, and it's going to be more accurate in a lot of ways than a human. I mean, you're off by a character. You can screw, screw the whole thing up, right? But this is interesting right here that they're saying translations, translations. Uh, so it might be that uh, they do not need Western localizers anymore. They'll just have AI uh, do the localization for them, for them, right? Um, so back to the uh, IGN article. These New Year's letters have become a staple of New Year's Day recently, and the previous ones have discussed the desire to explore NFTs, blockchain, the metaverse, and more. This year, AI took a turn in the spotlight. Uh, Kiru, I think it's Kiru, began by talking about how AI and its potential implications have long been the subject of academic debate. We talked about that. Um, they plan to, at Square Enix, aggressively apply AI and other cutting edge technology to both our content development and our publishing functions. In the short term, our goal will be to enhance our development productivity and achieve greater sophistication in our marketing efforts. So they're using AI a lot to place ads now. I've noticed that's the that's thing. Uh, they're using it to find like the heat spots on, that's what they call it, the, the heat spots on uh, websites and also to do a b testing with like thumbnails and stuff like that like which what is going to get the maximum result you know from your advertising spend in the longer term we hope to leverage those technologies to create new forms of content for consumers as we believe that technological innovation represents business opportunities on the publishing front uh, he revealed the company wants to enable greater global collaboration and promote the shift to digital 
The team hopes this will allow them to not only uh, give themselves a chance to maximize our sales of new titles, but also deliver our rich back catalog to more customers and in turn to expand our fan base for our group's intellectual properties. Translation, translations. I think that's what he's talking about. I think they're talking about localizing the game sooner. And they probably can do that without Western localizers. I think this is the end of Western localizers. And, and we're starting to see them uh, not react to that news very well. We've done some videos on the main channel, on the Clownfish TV channel, and they're not reacting to it very well. And I think they're going to get pushed out of gaming too. Because a lot of the Japanese companies are getting tired of these localizers taking liberties with the translations. There's a desire to put plans in place to ensure for easier and greater collaboration between development uh, and publishing teams at Square Enix in the hopes this will make customers even happier. Um, so they talk about blockchain and that sort of thing. So let's go out to uh, Twitter and see what the reactions are. We tend to be aggressive in applying AI. Square Enix couldn't wait until January 2nd. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh, guys, ugh. Um, this is funny. This guy is, this is a Kirk, Kirk here. And he says he's the content director for video games at Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated just got busted for using uh, AI to write articles, and they created fake authors. I'm just saying, like, you're not really one to, to talk. Niche Gamer talked about it. Uh, Black Viking. Uh, Square Enix president, Takashi Kiru, I think it's Kiru, uh, shares his New Year's letter. He talks about AI, and we'll be getting more Square games. That's awesome. Maybe if they're good. I don't know. Square Enix CEO, we intend to be aggressive in applying AI. Um, yeah, guys, uh, this is going to be really interesting stuff and I don't know what it means. I think, I think the first step is to get rid of localizers. Uh, Paul Tassi says new, new year, terrible message from Square Enix is, uh, it's not only AI, it's the blockchain. Everybody's look, I, I get that technology is changing very, very quickly. I get it. And NFTs were dumb. I think NFTs were dumb. But the blockchain technology, I think, is here to stay. I think it's going to be used in banking and currency in the future. And I know that, uh, like Kickstarter, they had controversy about blockchain, that people were going to leave the platform because they were going to use blockchain. But I think it's going to get to a place where, you know, every payment processor is using blockchain to, to some degree or another. I mean, again, this is a technology that it might not be perfect. And it might be misused now, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be the norm in five or 10 years. And I think using AI as a digital assistant is going to be the norm, just like using computers to do animation is now the norm. And it wasn't 30 years ago, 40 years ago. You know, it was an anomaly for a company like Pixar to do computer animation. And I know a lot of 2D animators scoffed at it within 20 years. A lot of them were out the door or they adapted and they, you know, started working for, for companies like Pixar. I'm just saying like, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and it's not always going to be bad. And it's not always going to give us pictures where people have like 18 thumbs, you know, <laughs> it's going to get better and better and better. Um, I think with animation, especially with 3d animation, you know, it could work really well to, um, you know, take a lot of, again, pick up the slack, uh, deal with a lot of the redundancies. If you have a script that can like, look, make this character do this, make this character do that. What's this character look like when they're scared, happy, sad. Um, do we have any animation? I mean, you, you can already do that in 3d, right? But I'm just saying in general, I think a lot of the, the grunt work is going to be alleviated through AI. Um, Square Enix's new president wants to be aggressive in AI. I love this. Everybody's like freaking the hell out about it. I just don't get it. But it's part of, you know, cost cutting too. You know, um, here, this person, small reminder, Square Enix doesn't give a damn about ethics. They've launched their AI art line in 2022. Coincidence in terms of date. Square Enix wants to launch into crypto and uh, into crypto web. 3.0 AI art, the metaverse has lost 14 billion for a few hundred users per week. Uh, they're all going to start using it. I mean, look at look at uh, Dungeons and Dragons, look at Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast. You know, they, they started using AI art and they got busted, but they fully intend to use it going forward. And it is going to eliminate some jobs. And I'm sorry. Uh, it is. It's just it's nature of the beast. When you've got so much detailed artwork that has to be produced, 
um, you know, it, it gets to a place where it's not cost effective and really consumers, all they care about for the, for the most part, all they care about is the end product. Is the end product good? You know, can we have talented people oversee more of the production if they've got AI assistance versus having to job it out? Or, you know, can we get more stuff done faster? Now, the, the question for me is like, are we going to knock off other people's stuff? But it's gotten to a point now where with a lot of role-playing games, like you can't distinguish one from another. They don't have any like unique style. All mobile games, the art looks like, you know, a, a knockoff of Final Fantasy. In fact, the only thing that looks really unique that's coming up from from Square is is probably the new Mana game. So I don't know. Does that mean we'll get another proper Final Fantasy more than once every ten or fifteen years? That'd be kind of cool. But everybody's pissed. They're like, man, not a good luck. Oh, what's Kotaku had to say? Um, what's Kotaku had to say? Kotaku is mad because Kotaku writers are getting replaced with AI. Uh, they said it was not surprising, given their plans to double down AI and blockchain tech. The company was pretty clear about its stance on the controversial tech when it announced an NFT game last year. How very dare they? Uh, <laughs> man, Final Fantasy XIV is the only thing keeping that company in the black, isn't it? Well, I mean, look, they've lost a lot of money on the Marvel game. They lost a lot of money on a lot of games. I don't know how Final Fantasy XVI has done overall. I mean, it's uh, Sony exclusive currently, but I think they're going to bring it to Steam soonish, aren't they? It should be about done. But um, yeah, I don't know, guys. This is interesting. Uh, this is very, very interesting, interesting stuff. And given the audience that the uh, California office has been courting, uh, you know, the, the reaction is not surprising at all. Given their localizers have had taken a lot of liberty with their games, including the world ends with you, you know, uh, I guess that one they really took some liberties with. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Uh, 2024 is going to be a very interesting, very interesting year. I'm going to wrap this up guys. Please subscribe for more gaming videos, gaming content here on clownfish gaming. And we'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including let's plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>